Hello everyone. So, let's continue with mesh setup and importing the meshes. Here I have four meshes for my car parts. One body, one wheel, one caliper, and one steering wheel. You can export different meshes for front and rear wheels and calipers, but since they are similar, I am just going to export one mesh for all of them. The pivot of the body part should be in its center. Especially when you look at it from the top view, the pivot should be on the center line. And the mesh should point to forward X. And when you look at it from a side view, the pivot should be fairly between the wheels. The wheel should be one of the passenger side wheels and the pivot should be on its center, so when it's rotated, it doesn't show any wobbling. The pivot of the caliper should be on the pivot of the wheel when the two are assembled. Lastly, the steering wheel should be completely straight, pointing to forward X, and the pivot should be fairly on its center. When you are sure everything is oriented correctly, zero out the location of all of them. Export all of them as one FBX file and name it SM for static mesh. Since each of these meshes has its name, when imported into Unreal, they're going to be named SM, underscore, followed by the mesh name. In Unreal, I am going to drag this exported mesh into my content browser. In the import dialog, I will make sure that transform vertex to absolute is on. This way, Unreal will take the world origin as the pivot for the mesh and disregard the actual pivot. So, if the pivot of your mesh has a hidden rotation or scale, it will not ruin your mesh. Also, make sure combine meshes is off because you want your meshes separated. Another important point here is this guy for the materials. If you have prepared your materials beforehand, Make sure you set this search location so the mesh searches for the same name materials and automatically assigns those materials to the slots. This will save you a lot of time. And finally import. To check if they are imported correctly, drag these into your level and check the orientation and rotation. You can also check their orientation by looking at the thumbnails. The forward x-axis is to the right side. So the body and steering wheel should point to the right, and the rim should face you. So let's assume I have this incorrect wheel and want to fix it. Do I have to go to the modeling app and correct and re-import? Well, it's better to do that because it's more precise. But there is a quicker way to correct the pivot inside Unreal. Go to Edit, Plugins, and search for Modeling Tool and make sure it's on. Then drag your incorrect mesh into the level, select it, activate modeling mode, go to X form, and edit pivot. You can see there are options to center the pivot, but I do not recommend it because it sometimes cannot center it perfectly. I only recommend this tool to fix the wrong pivot rotation. I am going to enable rotation snap and rotate the pivot so the wheel points to forward X. Click accept and that's it. Your mesh is fixed and it is applied to the static mesh not just that instance in the level. Here's another cool trick. If you have imported one mesh for your wheels but want the rear wheels a bit wider, just duplicate this mesh and name them front and rear. Then open the rear mesh, go to build settings, modify the scale on the Y axis, and click apply changes. And just like that, you have different meshes for the front and rear. Just don't forget to duplicate and scale the caliper mesh as well, so it matches the rear. See you guys later.